y'all this is Dina welcome to my channel y'all I am back it is Saturday y'all a couple of days have went by it's been very busy we had a great Thanksgiving we actually had two Thanksgivings one's at my daughter's house and one at my brother-in-law's house and so we had a great time visiting family I hope that you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving as well I really, really do. Um, I am in the midst of a mess. I have half of my craft fair stuff in the hall, already in bins, and I've got a little bit more to pack up and just make sure I have things in order. But I wanted to come on and bring you a quick video. And this one, um, this is something new to me. I know the Cricut Mud Press has been around for a while, um, I, probably two years. Um, but it's new to me, and there may be a lot of you that are not familiar with sublimation and the mug press and so forth. Um, but anyway, I thought I would jump on and show you guys. I want to show you my first project last night. I cracked this open, and my husband came home, and I'm like, I bought the mug press. And he just looked at me and grinned because y'all... Uh, my husband bought me this one and I just got it out of the box. This one is the Heat Press Nation Craft Pro. And so what my thoughts were, and I know I can do mugs and tumblers all on this one, but I decided to go ahead while the Cricut Mug Press was on Black Friday sale and get that one. That way I can use this one solely just for tumblers and the other one just for mugs. So I've got this one. I've already got the carrier um, in here as well where I'm going to be sublimating on my tumblers. But today we're going to do the Cricut Mug Press. So let's get back over here. So um, I had to clean off my table because I had to figure out where I'm going to put all this. This was my table that I had my sewing machine on. And I have taken my sewing machine off and moved it on top of my shelf because I don't sew as much. So I decided to go ahead and um, use this table for my, my mug presses, my presses and all that. That way then they're away from certain things. I did have some things up here like hanging down on, um, I have this right here. And so I had to remove those because I don't want anything, I mean, I wouldn't want anything to catch on fire or anything if it touched it. So I'm just gonna be super careful. Always remember, this is a something I say. Always remember when you're using heat presses or mug presses or anything like that, you always make sure you unplug them before you, when you're done with it, because I do. I don't even leave my, my, my t-shirt press or my, my uh, heat press on, on plugged in at all. Um, only time I plug it in is when I use it, and then other than that, it is unplugged because I don't want it to all of a sudden, what if something happened, it popped on. Anyway, let's, I'm gonna quit talking, and I wanna show you what my first project was last night, y'all. Okay, so look at this mug. Isn't this stinking darling so cute? So, so, so cute. I I was worried because I was like, okay, um, is this going to is it going to work? Is it going to work? Now the only thing I see is right over here. I had a little bit of where it seemed like it faded a little bit. Now y'all, you know you can't get it all the way around because you have to have a place for the handle to come out on a mug. Um, but right here, I, um, I think it could have got a little bit more heat, but for the most part, it turned out just darling. Now, this um, PNG, I purchased this one on Design Bundles. That's usually where the go-to place where I purchase things that I want to utilize on my projects and so forth. So this one was a dollar dollar download. And um, you know, you can use it as much as you want and so forth. So what I did is I have uploaded it into my Cricut design space and I did it as a print and cut. And then I just printed it to my um, sublimation printer. If you don't know what sublimation is, sublimation is a, a type of ink. This is the way I think of it. It's just a type of ink that will transfer to objects or things like that. And it has to be um, like a a certain blank. I know the like for t-shirts and things like that, it needs to be on a polyester 
or at least close. I don't know if you can use a different one. I've been told in the research I've done, it's gotta be on a polyester. Now this mug right here is actually a Cricut mug. I purchased them at Michael's. I had a big old coupon. So I bought um, a six pack of mugs just cause I wanted to give this a try and so forth. And I've also purchased a couple of tumblers and stuff like that. So um, we'll get into that on another day, but let's just work on a mug, okay? I thought I would just show you a mug. Okay, so I'm gonna move that out of the way. I have got my, got my computer here. And let me see if I can make sure you, you can see what I'm doing, okay? Now I know this is not totally straight. Let me see if I can get you where you can see really good. Okay, so this one right here, Christmas Coffee PNG, that is the one that I have purchased. Um, I purchased it for $1, and all you do is you go on to Design Bundles. Okay, here's their, does, this is if you're searching it, designbundles.net, and then the site comes up. You would create yourself an account and so forth. And these are all ones that I have purchased. Now, here's the Gnome Sublimation. It's called Gnome Mug Sublimation, okay? Let's see if I can get you a little closer. Okay, that is the one that I did on this mug, this one right here that I showed you. Isn't it darling? The color just turned out so vibrant. I just love it so much. Um, so anyway, so that is that one. And you can, like I said, get this on Design Bundles. Um, the one that I think I'm going to do um, today is the Christmas Coffee PNG Sublimation. It's called Christmas Coffee. Okay, so what I did is I purchased it, and you click Download. And let me make sure. So here's the Download button over here. So I'm going to just click. I clicked Download already, and whenever you click Download, it does go over into your Downloads folder on your computer. Okay, so here it is right here. It's called DK Designs Christmas Coffee. Okay, so it's already there. Now, whenever you download these um, templates and so forth, a lot of times you have to extract them, but this one just came this way, so you don't need to do that. It's just a PNG, okay? So then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your Chris, Chris, uh, Cricut Design Space, and I'll go over and do this one again, and you're gonna go over here to Upload Image and click Browse, and you're gonna go to your Downloads, and I'm gonna go find it. So you just gotta remember what it was called. So it's this one, Christmas Coffee, right here. And it says, wow, that's large. Okay, so here it is right here. I always just click complex and click continue. And there's the, there is the image going to click up, uh, apply and continue. And you always wanna make sure this is a print and cut. And I tell you this because I had to sit and figure this out, okay? I tried to find like several tutorials on the internet, on YouTube and so forth, to show me exactly like when you purchase the image, how do you get it to where you can print it? And when you print it, it just came out gigantic. So you have to make sure you put it into some software. So I put it over into my Cricut Design Space. Well, um, the one that it came out to, um, it came out super large and you have to resize it. Okay, so once you've got it over here and you're gonna click print then cut, and then you're gonna click up, upload. Okay, now it's gonna come out super large. It's gonna come out, oopsie. It's gonna come out super large and on top of the other one. You can see it's kind of working at the top here. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and click it and click Add to Canvas. So now that I've got it into my Cricut Design Space, I, all I have to do is resize it and then I can see how big it came out. So you're gonna resize it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I know it needs to be 9.25, okay. Let's see, okay, I know it needs to be a 9.25 in width and the height is 4.25. Now, the, muggler, the tumblers that I am using, or the mugs that I'm using, are the, I believe, 15 ounce mugs that I got that are from um, Cricut. Okay, so there it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete one. So now that I've resized it, this is exactly the size that I want. 
Now, um, whenever I down, what I did is I went and downloaded a printable or a template just so I would have it and I really didn't even need to do that. As long as I could see the measurements, you just know how to resize it, okay? But um, anyway, I did and I really ended up not even needing it because it told me the dimensions below the dollar download thing, um, but it's all good. Um, but anyway, this is what it looks like. Now, you can't, whenever you do a print and then cut, you have to have it less, you have to have it no more than the width of 9.25. And then, of course, the mug itself is 4.25 in height. Let me just make sure. Okay, yeah. And um, whenever you're sublimate, you know, for a mug, normally it's like 9.50, but I put it down to 9.25 because that's as large as a Cricut, Cricut Design Space software would allow. Okay, so I've got my image here, and I'm not going to do anything to it. I think it's super darling, and now I'm just going to click, go over here and click Make It. Make It is right over here in the corner, and all I'm going to do is, this is how it's going to turn out. Now, I have already, okay, there it comes. I've already got my sublimation paper in um, my printer, and let me show you the one I've showed you before of the kind that I use, okay? This is the kind I use. Sublimation paper, it's ASAP. I got it on Amazon. Okay, you have to use that. The printer that I am using, you have to have a sublimation printer. Now, I have the Epson ET2760. My husband bought it for me at um, Sam's. And I think it was like about $225. And so it wasn't too high of a price. Now, the sublimation printer, the Saltgrass Nation, or the Saltgrass, I think it's from Heat Press Nation. I'm not really sure. I just know it's a Saltgrass printer, and that is a sublimation printer. That one was way out of my price range. And I just, this is not for a business, it's just for me to have fun. And so, anyway, my husband bought me the Epson ET. 2760 and what you have to do is you have to purchase sublimation ink and not use the ink that comes with the printer so what i did is i made the epson printer into a sublimation printer by not using the regular ink but by using sublimation ink okay i'll show you the ink i'm using and i when i purchased my ink i actually pur purchased some extras this is the one i'm using okay i got it on amazon it's the Hippo Sublimation Ink for Sublimation. Um, but anyway, um, it I, my ink has hardly gone down. I've used this multiple times, and so it's lasting quite a long while. Okay, so I've got my paper in my printer, and now I'm going to go over here and just go ahead and click Continue. Okay, and now I'm just going to click send a printer and I'm going to send it instead of the printer I normally send it to I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send it to my Epson printer versus my HP printer whenever I do a print and cut I usually send it to the to the um the HP printer because that one is just one I use for print and cut now I think it's just going to take time for this to catch up we both know what it looks like here we all do i've got my epson printer already selected and then i'm going to unclick add bleed i always do that um, and now i'm going to go click print okay so now it's going to come out of my printer and i'll come back and show you what it looks okay. like so i sent it to my printer and there's one thing that i forgot to do and so you all, it's better to catch this now before you go and put it on your mug and then you're stuck with it. So this is the way it printed. So as you see, you can read it, but whenever you do sublimation and iron-ons or anything like that, we always need to make sure we mirror our image. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go over here and click edit. And down here at the bottom, it says mirror. I'm gonna click mirror and then I'm gonna click done. So now, um, and then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to reprint it. So now the words will look backward, but then when we sublimate it onto the mug, it's going to, it's going to be the correct way and you'll be able to read it. Click send a printer. And it's just preparing. I've got it still on the Epson 6012 or Epson, uh, the ET2760. It looks like my words are backward. I'm gonna take off the ad bleed and now I'm going to click print. 
So it's gonna come out of the printer and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it came out looking like. See how the words are backward? That's what we want it to look like. While I prepare this and get ready put a butt, to put it on my mug, let's go ahead and start to um, get the heat press heated up here. Okay, so here is, here, uh, here is my Cricut mug press and I'm just gonna turn on the on button. Now I already set it up last night so I don't have to worry about setting it up through Cricut or anything like that. Now the red, the orange light is on. You can kind of see that if you could see the orange light on the top here. Um, so the orange light is on. Once these lights up here on the top are all lit up right here, then it's ready and heated up. So it takes a few minutes. So we're just gonna give that time to go ahead and get heated up. And until, until that's ready, while that's ready, we're gonna go ahead and get this one ready. So. Okay, so I am going to trim this off and I want to make sure that I trim off where the black lines are because um, we don't want that black line to show up on our mug. That's just the registration lines. So I'm going to go ahead and get, that, get this all trimmed. I want to try not to, and this is just my thoughts. I'm new to sublimation. Um, I don't want to touch all over my design. I want to try to keep my fingerprints off of it as much as I can. And so forth. Y'all, I need you to say a prayer. Next Sunday is my craft fair. It is an outdoor craft fair. And my husband said they're calling for rain all next weekend. We have rain all day today. I'm just saying my prayers. I tell my husband, well, the weatherman um, doesn't know the future. Only God does. So I'm going to just pray that God will, you know, provide me some nice day. And then, let me throw that away. And then if he wants to bring rain after it's over, that's just fine. Because I love rain. Just not on my craft fair day. Okay, so now... Okay, so this is, let's see how this is looking. Okay. I see, it feels like it's heating up. I can feel the heat. It just takes time. Let's get our mug ready. Okay, this is one of the mugs. I bought a six pack, but these are the Cricut mugs. So you want to make sure you take the mug out and get it ready. Go ahead and get this out. And what you want to do is you want to make sure when you're doing this, you have some heat resistant gloves and heat resistant tape because you're going to need it. Okay? And like a maybe a mat so you don't burn your surface. Okay, let's see here. Where is it? Let's just tear it open. Okay? I got my mug. Now remember you can't just do any mug. You have to do one that you can sublimate on. And usually they'll say sublimation blanks or something. In my opinion, that's how it's been looking. So um, I just want to make sure. Okay, so my mug press just um, heated up. The green light is on, as you can see. And I'm going to finish getting my mug ready. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this cloth and it's kind of like a lint free cloth. You want to make sure you clean it. You don't want to, you want to make sure there's no fingerprints all over it. Okay. I'm going to clean it really good. You can use a lint roller, lint rolled. I've seen people lint roll them and I did watch the Cricut video and they lint rolled after they cleaned, but I didn't lint roll the other one in. It turned out fine. And they were inside the bubble wrap. So, okay. So I've got my mug. If you want to lint roll it, feel free. I do have a lint roller that I keep over here close to my other heat press. Y'all, you probably think, man, she doesn't stick to one kind of craft. I love to dibble dabble. I just love different, I love to try different things. And I just think it's just a blast. And so gonna get I'm just gonna drop this okay okay but I just love trying all kinds of crafts and so it's nice to venture out on different things and um, the way I look at these things these are an investment so 
they are they are okay so what you're going to need to do is you're going to and i think one thing i'm going to have to invest in is a is a cup cradle so i might have to find one of those and order it but until then it's going to be okay so you want to make sure that it's going to fit on your mug and i might have to cut it down just a little bit more because i think i need to cut it a little more let's cut it cut it cut it cut it okay so i have my press it's all heated up the green light is on that's the go that's the start button y'all now um, I've got my mug already nice and clean. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to go over it again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my transfer on here. Um, I went ahead and I cut it down a little bit more because I want this to be the height of my mug, okay? So this is the height of my mug. Now, of course, it's not going to cover the handle. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap this around and if you make it the height of your mug, to me, it's a little helpful, okay? Now, granted, this is the second one I've done. So, I'm going to pray everything turns out, and I'm gonna make sure everything looks good. So, you wanna make sure it's covering, see how that's covering, and it's centered. I'm gonna hold it in place with my hands, and I'm gonna use this tape. Let's go this way. You wanna make sure you've got it pulled tight Okay, so I've got that one anchored on. So now I'm gonna just grab my tape. If you wanna make gifts for people, this is, this is the fun thing to do. I really, really think I'm gonna enjoy this. I was talking to my sweet sister, Debbie. If you are watching Debbie, I love you, love you, love you. And um, she was like, like rooting me on yesterday and this and that, so. Um, I sent her, I tried to call her last night to tell her that the mug worked, but she didn't answer. She was probably out. And so anyway, if you watch, you can see that that mug worked. Okay. I want to make sure that's on really good. Now I want to make sure that it adheres well to the top and bottom. So, um, I'm just going to add some tape. You want to make sure it's, it's gotta be tight y'all. It's gotta be tight. I'm gonna add tape going around. And I'm still holding it, kind of pulling it tight. Come back here, Mug. Pulling it tight, tight. See how that looks? Now, I watched the video for Cricut. And look at that, see? Not totally tight. I'm pulling it tighter. And Cricut said to put parchment paper or like a butcher paper around. I don't have butcher paper, so I'm going to use parchment. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I get all this tape. Now I'm going to finish taping and then I'll come back. You don't want to watch my tape. So I've got it taped up well. I went ahead and taped all the way around the bottom and the top. You want to make sure if this design is stuck to that cup. Now you're gonna need to put some kind of butcher paper or parchment paper around it. I don't have butcher paper, so I'm gonna go with parchment because that's what I've got. And I'm just going to put one sheet. I put um, one yesterday and it worked out fine. The reason that you need to do this is because you don't want the ink fading into your, your mug press. This around it didn't do anything yesterday it didn't even come off on the the um, the parchment paper I put yesterday so I don't think it will but you just should be safe better safe than sorry okay so I'm gonna worry about I'm not gonna worry about this top because it's gonna be sticking up you just want to make sure this is good and covered okay a little bit more tape and you can make sure this kind of folds down okay so now we're going to get it into the mud press okay so i'm going to take it we'll kind of tilt it and then slide it right down inside 
And I know, here we go. You're gonna push down the lever. You wanna make sure the handle is pretty close over here. And now we're, we wait until all the white dots are filled and then the mug should be done. Okay, we've only gotta wait for one more light up here to, um, you can see, to light up and then we'll be able to take it out. You wanna make sure that you're using heat resistant gloves when you handle this. Now the handle here, the mug handle will not be hot, but the mug itself is going to be hot and it's gonna take probably about, oh, probably 15 minutes or so before it's cooled down. So you wanna make sure you're using some heat resistant gloves. I've got some right here and you wanna just make sure that you're, you know, doing everything, of course, safely and um, so forth. So, okay, we should, it's been, and it's been approximately about four minutes so far, three or four minutes approximately. Um, all I know is wait for all the lights to be done. It will beep and tell you when it's done. So, so let me know if are y'all interested in, in uh, videos like this? Cause I've had people say, I like to see a little bit more sublimation, you know, and I know a lot of people don't have the, the stuff to do it, but there are a lot of people that are trying sublimation. Look at that. It's on the last one right now. Um, but anyway, I really think it's just so much fun and to be able to create this and have it turn out the way the picture did. It's just amazing to me. I love it. And look at that. It's done. So now all we're going to do is we're going to take it and lift the handle up. And I'm going to push this back. And you want to make sure you have some kind of heat resistant surface or some kind of mat or something. I've got my mat here. So I'm going to use this mat right here. And I'm going to take it, gently pull it up, and put it on my mat. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to try to be patient and wait for this. It's extremely hot, but you can see the design through there. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so I'm getting a little impatient. It's been about five minutes. It's still hot. Um, I, I'm going to try to get this off. I'm impatient. I want to see what it looks like. I can see that, see how it did not come off on my parchment paper. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to see if I can get this, the parchment paper off and see if I can gently get the rest of it off. Okay. So got a little bit over here. Now I'm using my heat resistant glove so I can hold this. I do feel the heat coming through a little bit. It's not burning me, but I feel the heat. Okay, so I want to kind of start at the top and I'm gonna get some of my tape off. This is the best part, y'all. Um, I hope you've stuck around for this because seeing, seeing the results of a project is um, the best part to me. And your hard work. I was talking to my sister last night and I'm like, I don't know how to do this. And she goes, you're gonna figure it out. I know you will. She's a big cheerleader. I'm my sibling. I've got a couple siblings that are my big cheerleaders. So I'm grateful that they are. I'd love to have a craft time with them. Okay, so I think it's cooling down where I could try to get this part off. It's cooling down a little. I still feel the heat, y'all. There we go. You got to get all this gently off. Okay, I'm coming to the end of my tape. And we're going to reveal this. I'm praying for the best. You never know what's going to happen. And here we go, y'all. Oh, oh my gosh. Look, y'all. That is so cute. Oh, look at this. Now, right over here, I see some fading right there, but it's okay. This turned out so darling. Look at that. 
So cute. So, so, so cute. See how the words? Look at that. This turned out darling. Now I'm gonna have to work on making sure this part right here doesn't fade. I need to make sure the heat's on that a little more. So maybe I need to turn my handle just a little bit more. But y'all, this turned out just precious. Look at that. Look at that, so cute y'all. So, so cute. I love this. I love this so much. Oh, that's darling. Well, that's it. This is how you do it. So easy and fun. You can see this is what's left of it. And um, it's just something about this ink. It's just wonderful. So, y'all, I, I hope you stuck around with me because now I have two cute mugs. And, oh, my goodness, these are simply darling. Darling, darling, darling. So I think what I'm going to do, if you have watched my video to the end here, I'm going to give this one away. So you know what? We just had Thanksgiving. I am so thankful and grateful to each and every one of you. If you have watched to the end, I want you to leave me a comment below and I want you to let me know. All I want to know is um, your favorite tradition at Christmas. That's what I want to know. And then tomorrow I will come on and I will choose a winner of this absolutely sweet mug. And I will, I will get it sent to you. So anyway, that is it. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.